This is Mike Santa here. I'm showing you how to, how I uh, glue these BB-8 panels together. It's very simple. Uh, first I have the zip kicker. Um, that I spray on the areas that I want to glue together. I'm using this gap filler, a medium CA. All I'm gonna do is, I have the shape already of this ball that fits perfectly on. I'm going to now apply this medium CA into the cracks of where I sprayed. And this will be just applied on to all the places that are together, that touch each other. Okay, I've applied the first layer of that and I'm gonna go ahead and spray another spray of this zip kicker on top of that. And I'm going to apply one more layer just to fill in the crack because I don't want the cracks to be there. Now the first layer went into the crack. And the second layer is just going to make sure that there's no gap. So now we should have just a slightly raised bead above this, above the little gaps. Now you see these big holes here in the triangles. No matter, we're going to fill those up. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to put some thicker on the holes on the surface of the opposite side that I'm going to apply the glue. I'm going to put a piece of tape here to cover the holes and act as a stop for the glue you'll see in a second. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Now I see the holes here. I'm going to spray a little thicker in the holes. So now what I'm going to do is put my finger over one of the holes and I'm going to apply a couple drops of uh, CA. I'll go ahead and do this one while the other one's hardening. What will happen is you just give it a little while to harden and then you can drip a couple more drips on the top to make it flush with the surface here. I'll do the third one here. I'll wait for it to kick. Okay, see, so they're kind of filled, it's fine. I'll flip it back over, and since the tape has the adhesive on it, it's really easy to pull off, despite the glue being there. So if you see this, it's a nice surface here that we can sand down now. So here is a panel that I've already done, and you see these beads. So what I'm going to do is just sand this. I have a sanding disc because it's kind of stiff and it's nice to uh, sand with. Uh, so I just sand the the grooves here until I get it nice and smooth. Now if you take a look at one that I've already done, it comes out pretty nice and flat. So this one here, um, after sanding with the disc, is ready for some primer. So I'm going to shoot this with basically three coats. This is my first coat of three. And I just want to get enough primer to go in the grooves. 
And you can see that already with just one application of CA and sanding that most of my work is done on the panel in the center. It's gonna take a little bit of uh, primer and some slight bit of sanding to get down, but this is the first coat of primer going on. So here's one of the panels that has the third coat of primer going on. And what we'll do is after this one is the paint is dried on this one, I'll show you how this sands out. So, so far we have done some work on this, but it's not as involved as applying coats of anything other than some CA at the joints, a little bit of sanding, and our third coat of primer. And we'll, this one is a little more rough than the one I just showed you, as far as like right here where the panels are, have been joined. But still, I mean, uh, I'll sand this one down and we'll see how it looks after very little work. Here's the panel after it's dried overnight. And what I'm going to do is just sand it down and then I'll show you the finish on the surface. So here's about, after about 15 minutes of sanding with this, I'm um, using this 220 sandpaper. And you'll see most of the lines are gone, so I probably need to do uh, another two coats of primer, let it sit for a day, and just maybe another 15-10 minutes of sanding, and this panel will be completely done. Okay, you'll see here that, uh, I want to show you how to fill in a corner here. You see this corner is nice and complete. This one, let's say the, the uh, printer didn't fill properly. Uh, so the first thing I did was made sure the surface here was as nice and level of what I want uh, how I want it when I start filling this thing. So the first thing I want to do is get a piece of just clear tape and I'm going to just apply it to this side of the panel like so. I'm going to take some kicker and spray it on the area and then take this thick CA and shoot some in there. All right, I'm gonna let this kick. Maybe I'll apply a little more kicker to help it kick quickly. And then I will apply a little more. And I want to apply it way over so that I'll get a nice buildup right here where I want it. So here it is and uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to peel this off now. What I have left here is uh, what looks like a little bit of a mess, but it really isn't. I can feel a little divot here, so I'll apply a little bit more uh, CA over this top part here and let that cure. And then we'll take this outside and sand it down. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just gonna sand this edge down, starting from the profile that I want here. and get it to kind of match <clears throat> the profile that I, I want. You can use the, uh, the other piece and, and see what profile. And then I'm going to take this edge off, of course, also. No matter if you take too much off, because you'll be able to, of course, fill it in with more CA. I'm almost finished up with sanding here. I've, I've uh, added a little more CA to the top. 
and a little bit more on the back and a little bit more on the side but uh, you could see the gist of it I can come in here and, and uh, sand the screw nicely I can uh, take more off the top following this curve I can fix all these ridges if they're indeed ridges by just putting a light coating of CA there and sanding it like this so now you see it's uh, almost done. I see there's a little bubble in there, but this video is mainly to show uh, how to fill that in. So little bubbles can be filled in with a little tiny bit of CA and sprayed with, with more hardener. Uh, I've got my spray paint here and I'll show you. Basically what it's done when it's complete. It looks like a new little piece on there. So uh, that's a little bit of a, a my technique and how I use to to fix these uh, 3D printed parts and hopefully you can use them in your models and I hope that helped.